There's a lot of parts to this larva and egg collector, so this is a rundown of what you'll need to make and how it all goes together. So this is the holder for the thing itself. There's another version where instead of this over the top piece and the screws on the back side, you just have wider tabs here, and that's for securing it to the tank with an algae magnet like that one on either side. I'd use at least two, but this one goes over a rimless tank. The three screws on the top adjust the height so you can get the angle and uh, height of this right to your water level. Um, this part holds the skimmer cup, which you'll also need to print. It just prints as one piece. Uh, this section here holds the holding basket, which is two pieces. You'll need this one bigger piece, and then this one little piece with the X which holds on the mesh. And to attach the mesh, all you need to do is uh, dots of glue, super glue around the outside, put your mesh on the top, then put the retainer pl place in there and hold it down until the super glue dries. Then I used uh, an exacto to just trim around to keep it looking clean. Um, if you want to, you can then also make one of these holding ones. It's different in that it doesn't have the skimmer place and it actually fits over a different kind of tank. This will fit over a rimmed 10 gallon tank. Same adjustments for height and stuff, but you can put your holding basket in there. If I had two hands, it would align better. And then you can keep it there until eggs hatch or until you find another place to move the larva or what have you. Um, in the bottom, as you can see sort of down there, there's a spot for an airline tube and a couple of little vents for it as well, so you can keep some circulation going for the larva when they're stuck in there. You'll also need, the most important thing, the pump. This is a pump that's powered by air, so you stick an airline on the end here, and it bubbles out at the bottom of this tube, rises up to the top and over. And you'll see when it's actually fully assembled, but this goes in over top when you have the other two pieces, this one and the holding basket in the holder. But I'll show you once that's on the tank, and we're ready to just collect some larva. When it comes time to collect larva, this is how you set up everything. So you get your holder on the side. If you have the magnet version, then you just use magnets, but this one just slips over the top. You take the uh, skimmer cup, I like to get a little water in it so that it weighs itself down. Uh, you can see in the water there's little notches on there. Those line up with the notches that are here on the side. So you put it in, get it to the notch, and then you twist it and it holds itself down, even if it had some air in it. Then you put in the holding basket. I like to have mine kind of face away. Again, I'll fill it with water so you can speed it up. Make sure that it sinks down. And we get the air pump. This is just dangling on the end of the airline. Long end goes in the skimmer, short end goes in the other side. Uh, I like to loop the airline over the light fixture on this tank just because it kind of secures it and then I run it around here. And you turn it on. And when you look, you can see that there's some water flow in. And you can see that the water level is just a little bit down from the tank water level there. And that's how you want it, because then it'll keep pulling stuff in through there. And then it dumps it into here, comes out of the, the overflow, and you probably can't see anything, but there is there are like little micro bubbles and things that come out that way to keep the circulation going. So that's the setup for collecting. Stuff will get sucked into there if you've got... The, the flashlight, this is the, the diffuser, you can put the flashlight in the top of here. Um, you can also use... This is the light that came with the Vossen collector, which works fine, but I, I think this one I like better. It's just barely on, with the lights on in the room you can't see it. Um, but that will draw any little uh, larva that are phototactic towards it so they can get sucked in, and then move over to here. And then once you've collected everything, you shut off the air, you remove the pump, and then you pull this out and you can transfer it over, like this one, to here. And you can see there's an airline in there that is shut off because my valve is bad, but you can just run a little bit of air and it's, it's stuck in the bottom because there's a little spot for it there. You can get a little bit of a view, not so much through there, but these are shallow enough that if you take a flashlight and you look in, you can see pretty well if there's eggs or larvae and what they're doing in there. Um, and then this little holder just holds it on the side. This is a, a standard 10 gallon that's plumbed into a system. So that's how the whole thing works.